Hey everyone, welcome back to Nutrition Made Simple. This is a video series that we created that takes a look at natural health topics and then we break them down into easy to understand and actionable steps that pretty much anyone can take. And again today, I've got the owner and founder of Nutrition World with me, Mr. Ed Jones. And we're actually gonna be talking about three tips for healthy aging. And these are more, well, maybe not tips as much as they are just kind of lifestyle changes that you can put into place. Uh, because we all know that there's, there's no real easy way to age gracefully. It's something that you have to put a lot of work into. But that's what we're gonna talk about today. And the three that we have for you today are a low inflammation diet, which foods that you need to be eating, how to prevent calcification of the body, and that's gonna be a really interesting topic to dive into, and then having a team approach, because this is not something that you can typically do on your own. You've gotta have people involved to help you along the way. So Ed, let's go ahead and get right into this, starting out with a low inflammation diet. What is that gonna look like as we age? Well, to me, Brian, it's extremely important, and this is certainly a topic near and dear to my heart. I'm almost 64 years old. We've all seen people who uh, are going to, we all are going to age, but we've seen some of those who age far gracefully is a great word. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? More resilience, more stamina. We don't lose our energy for life. We still have that spark, and if we need to do something, we have the ability to do it. Well, inflammation is at the root of most of the chronic diseases in this country. Right. And when you go get a physical or you get blood work, it's rarely checked, but there are a couple blood tests that can really determine where your levels are. And before I even say what that that means and how you can order them, you got to understand something about inflammation. I have, and you can't see it on this film, but I have very big calluses, and I use this analogy a lot. I have calluses because I do a lot of chin-ups in the gym. Well, what the body is doing is trying to fix the inflammation on my skin. Mm -hmm. So it gathers together a lot of molecules, one of which is, is calcium and, and other molecules, and they try to patch it. Well, guess what? This is what inflammation does in the artery, which is plaque, in the brain, which is memory loss, in the joints, which is arthritis. You don't have inflammation at 21. You start having it about 35 and years of it will build up these deposits. So part of the problem is the diet we eat. Mm -hmm. When you eat processed foods, which means a lot of simple carbohydrates, you're going to feed inflammation. When you don't have enough omega-3, you're going to feed inflammation. Now, most people who watch and listen to us understand that I value leaning toward a keto diet. Doesn't mean you have to be in one, but you need a diet, in my opinion, that has high healthy fats, modest to high protein, and low carbs. I don't eat much gluten, which means bread. Don't eat much rice. Don't eat much pasta. I eat colored vegetables, and I eat lean meats, and I eat some dairy products like yogurt and other things. But eliminating those fast-acting carbs is a key to having less inflammation. And lastly, the blood tests that need to be done, which we do at Nutrition World uh, every Tuesday and the last Friday of the month, is something called high-sensitivity C-reactive protein. Mm -hmm. The second one is insulin, not glucose, insulin. Key component to aging. If you have insulin under 5 on a blood test, you will age far better than if you have it in double digits. And lastly, we sell an omega-3 test that you prick your finger and you get the results back. Those three tests can determine how fast you have inflammation, which means how fast you're going to age. Yeah. So obviously diet is a very important part of this. Mm -hmm. Really eliminating sugars, eating uh, high doses of healthy fats, moderate amounts of proteins, mm -hmm. and then a good portion of colored vegetables as well. All right, so next on the list, we have something that you call uh, Tin Man Loop of Doom. Yep. Um, this is a, a phrase that you just keyed right before we <laughs> started this video. So can you tell us a little bit more uh, about that? Yes, Brian. Well, years ago, and I've probably told this story uh, several times, but it was probably 15 years ago, and I got invited just because I... I like to try to do everything I can in life to learn. I went to a college that's local, and I got to be at a cadaver lab. Cadavers, of course, these people had passed away in some time before, several weeks. They were all over the age of 65, and I got to view the body. I got to hold it. I got to touch every single organ, and there was a whole class there, and we got to feel everything. Well, every time I touched anything, it didn't matter if it was a kidney, an artery, or part of the brain, 
I would look around and make sure no one was watching, and I would squeeze it. It would crunch. <laughs> it would sound like a cracker. Well, I figured it was because it was dried out. Well, I asked the physician there on staff, why does this happen? He said, well, it wasn't because it's dried out. It's because the calcium left the bones and went to all the other organs. Mm -hmm. This is what causes us to be the tin man, which is we lose the calcium. Then it gets stuck everywhere else, and we start that old look. How do we stop it? It's pretty dang easy, actually. <laughs> You have to have enough magnesium in your bloodstream constantly to prevent calcium from solidifying. And then secondly, vitamin K. Yep. It's real. It's pretty easy, and yet mainstream doesn't really understand it yet. So please understand the value of magnesium and vitamin K. Yeah, especially if you're taking a D3 supplement, K2 is hands down probably the best pair for that uh, in, in all existence because it's actually going to direct that calcium mm -hmm. where it needs to go in your bones and not in places like your arteries where you definitely don't want it. So that's a really, really good tip, Ed. Um, and then lastly, we have a team approach. Obviously, anything that we do, we can all use all the help that we can get. And it's important to have kind of cheerleaders along the way too because otherwise it's going to be a really difficult journey. So in your mind um, or in your life, what are some of the things that you've done to have that team approach to help you along the way? Very good point, because I don't know of much in life that we can't get more value and effectiveness from bringing in people who have more experience, more knowledge. And I can tell you with the aging human body, because Father Time is not very kind to us. And if we do nothing, we are going to be the victim of Father Time far quicker. It will have its day, but I'm going to delay it as far as possible. But I have a team. I mean, and you can't do this overnight. So it takes, it's like a relationship. You have to build it slowly. I have a chiropractor. I mean, Dr. Wheatcroft's my chiropractor that adjusts me just yesterday. <laughs> I have a massage therapist. We actually have three here at Nutrition World. I have a personal trainer, Mackie Pierre. He helps me when I have questions or I have issues. Uh, I have a holistic health professional physician where if I do have something really uh, I'm unsure about, I got someone I can go to that won't just be a writer of prescriptions, but yet can give me some good common sense advice, but mm -hmm. yet be able to, to diagnose things. I love, we have to have a lab testing so that we can do and embrace lab tests ourselves. To have to wait for appointments and sit in offices and beg for blood tests, that's old school. That's over. Mm -hmm. You can empower yourself now with your own blood work. We do it here every week. And, you know, I do also the um, nutrition, even though I study it constantly. I have my people that I totally respect. And even today, this morning, a really odd question a, a client had, I had to email somebody that is really smart. And mm -hmm. he gave me the answer that I could not find. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, it's hormones. I think sometimes we need to address that. Mm -hmm. I've got my experts on the hormones. Yeah. Well, those are all really great tips. And obviously, if you're looking for partners along the way, we have the solution for you. We've got plenty of practitioners right here mm -hmm. on our campus. We have a team of experts working in the store to answer all your questions. And like I said, if we don't know the answer, we'll find somebody that does to help you out. So, all right, Ed, any last tips, anything you want to add? Well, I love poetry. And Mary Oliver, I remember years ago reading this, what are you going to do with your one wild and precious life? We got one chance here, people, at least on this earth. We have a machine in here that we need to make it fuel up, efficient, and run a long time. I'm not about quantity. I'm about quality. The only way we're going to have quality aging, unless you are one of those few, once you may be one in <laughs> 500 blessed to have the perfect genetics, unless you are, let's get a plan together. And we certainly are here to help you to put that plan together. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. We hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We're always happy to help. And we'll see you next time on Nutrition Made Simple.